Hey guys, welcome to another Maple Story 2 class review, and today we're gonna go over the boss cannoneer heavy gunner. For some weird reason, and I can't remember why, I made my heavy gunner all pink, and I've been trying to spend the past 30 minutes why I made him all pink, but whatever, you know what, he's super cute, we'll keep him that way. And yeah, I could not figure out a better name for heavy gunner, just based on their personality, they just look really jolly and go lucky, so I thought, you know what, it's a good name for him. Right, so let's get into the review with your oh so familiar standard disclaimer. This is not a guide, it's not a how to play, this isn't a should you play or any video of the sort. It's just my honest thoughts and more importantly my first impressions on the class so I'm by no means an expert or anything, but I do have good general understanding and knowledge of MapleStory 2 and MMOs so take it however you'd like. Heavy Gunners are a pretty interesting class because when you think of MMORPGs you think of fantasy or medieval themes or like old school fighting, you know, swords and arrows, not really modern technologies like guns and stuff for the most part anyway. And we know that the Maple Story franchise is fantasy, so it's kind of weird seeing a Heavy Gunner, even so, they're a pretty cool class and definitely one of my more favorite in terms of design. As their name implies, they carry a heavy gun, and when you think of heavy guns, you think of artillery like missiles, cannons, explosives, rockets, bombs, flamethrowers, etc, etc, and yeah, their kit is pretty much centric around that. I personally think that heavy gunners are a really good class to play for both hardcore and casual, beginner and expert alike, because they have a unique playstyle, and despite not the flashiest abilities I've seen, they're quite fun, and good at what they do, which is blow shit up. Heavy Gunners are a cannon wielding class who specialize in backline DPS, they use their expansive toolkit to find ways to colorfully kill everything, but unlike their more nimble sister class rangers, Heavy Gunners get most of their damage uptime when remaining stationary since a good amount of their attacks have pretty decently long casting animation and therefore it's better when you have plenty of free time to attack. In a gameplay sense, you're not going to be doing much finessing on a Heavy Gunner as you would the likes of Thief, Assassin, and Wizard, but even so, it's surprisingly engaging of a class. For starters, they are the only class in the game that doesn't regenerate spirit naturally. Which makes sense, since because Heavy Gunners are really the only concrete class in MapleStory 2. When I say concrete, I'm talking in the sense of the only class that you can realistically be is a Heavy Gunner, as like, you know, we humans. Mages use magic, rogues don't really use magic, they use something like ninjutsu and stuff, but still fantasy elements like creating living shadows. Warriors do actually have magical aspects to them, like knights creating a shield bubble, or imbuing allies with more defense, you get the idea. But Heavy Gunner is down to earth, like you would never really imagine anything impractical on a Heavy Gunner. So they can regenerate spirit, which means you have to manually reload your spirit. Literally. Think of Heavy Gunner's resource bar not as spirit, but ammo. To keep your DPS out time, you have to regularly pause and load your cannon up, which at first I found really annoying, because you had to sit still to do it, but thematically, it does make sense. That cannon does not have infinite ammo, you gotta take the time to juice it back up or to load another mech which then transitions us into Heavy Gunner's list of skills. Like Rangers who have a constant firing attack and rapid shot, Heavy Gunners do come with two constant firing attacks, Gatling Fire and Bullet Spray, with the former consuming spirit but dealing more damage and hitting multiple targets. The only difference is that Heavy Gunners root themselves in place while shooting, while Rangers can freely jump around and maintain their uptime quite easily. This applies to almost all of their abilities, rocket launcher, magnetic bomb, homing missiles, electric blast, etc. in that they're extremely potent attacks in exchange for being really slow. Now of course, barring skills like Berserker's Death Spin, all attacks do require you to stand still for even a short period of time, but Heavy Gunners have noticeably more lag than the likes of Wizard or Assassin. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are inferior. Almost all of Heavy Gunner's skills are damaging abilities or passives that increase their damage, except for like Med Kit, but I'll explain that later. Consequently, this means they're going to be doing a lot of damage. Heavy Gunners are basically neck and neck with other top tier classes when it comes to single target damage, but what makes them really strong is their insane clear speed. Blast Charge Electric Blast, M-Bomb, Homing Missile, Stun Grenades, Magnetic Bomb, Rocket Launcher, Suborbital Bombardment, Gatling Fire, even Jet Boots, your mobility skill can all damage multiple targets, so your main DPS tools double as Wave Clear, something not many classes can do to the same extent. Also, Heavy Gunners come armed with crowd control such as Magnetic Bomb creating a gravity field similar to Runeblader's Gravity Room that pulls enemies into the Detonation Center, or Stun Grenades which, true to their name, stun targets hit by them making Wave Clear even more seamless. So while your skills are quite laggy to use, they're really really powerful which is why heavy gunners can hyper carry parties through bosses, because if they get enough time to stand still and with party protection like a priest or a knight maybe, that's when you can have the most fun with this class. That being said however, they're not completely immobile, Jet Boots is a really reliable dash ability with respectable range and decent stamina cost being a 6 meter dash for 60 stamina which is a cut above the distance of wizard's teleport or assassin's dash at 4.5 meters but with slightly more stamina cost. Overall, for a class that excels in backline DPS, they get a pretty solid dash ability. It also does some damage, like not too much, but it's there. You might think that Heavy Gunners are a very selfish class, and kind of, yes they are, but one thing that they have that really helps in a pinch is Med Kit, which drops a little health pack on the ground that can heal allies between 400 to 4000 HP, 
It's almost a full heal if you fully max that out. Of course no one does, but it grants a decent amount of sustainability for heavy gunners. Additionally, they have a very rare niche in that they're extremely valuable for parties. I mentioned earlier that heavy gunners have mobbing the likes of which very few classes have, and what I meant by that is that they can wave clear not just horizontally, but also vertically. While Rune Blader still holds the record for 3 vertical reach attacks, heavy gunners homing missiles and M-bomb make them extremely valuable in bosses with hard to reach adds like Chaos Dvorak. It's a small niche that may or may not be beneficial in the future, but it's there and that's what's important. Okay, so that's all the praise I have for the class, and while these review videos are just first impressions of me playing the class for a short amount of time, I've seen the potential heavy gunners have by watching party members play and their functions and raids. But uh, yeah, let's go into the cons. The biggest glaring weakness heavy gunners have is their difficulty in maintaining DPS uptime. Most classes can keep up their damage 100% of the time, but heavy gunners cannot because they have to manually replenish their spirit. You can argue that they make up for it by doing above average damage during their lesser uptime, but the fact that such a limiter exists can hurt heavy gunners a lot, especially once we get further into the endgame where fast and quick attacks will matter more. If you combine this with the fact that heavy gunners have animation like almost on par with berserkers, that can prove to be really dangerous. Berserkers can afford to be slow since they're quite meaty, but heavy gunners don't have that luxury. Contrary to their appearance, they're extremely squishy, which I think is kind of misleading because that cannon's gotta be at least like 30-40 pounds. Come on, heavy gunners should not be this frail. That being said, they are, which makes this class deceptively difficult to play. Unlike Assassin or Wizard who are more fluid and can easily move around in fights, heavy gunners have to plant themselves to do damage, so proper game knowledge of when it's safe to start firing is very essential. You might wonder why I consider this a con, and it's not because I think difficulty is a negative thing, rather it's that the performance of the class is not hindered by the player, but the class itself. Classes that are mechanically intensive in the sense of having to properly combo your attacks together or chain them for optimal DPS mean that a good player is rewarded while a bad player is punished. But in Heavy Gunner's case, having to stop and replenish spirit as well as your skills having noticeable starting and ending lag, they limit the class not because of your inability to play it, but because of the constraints within the class. In other words, you really can't have full liberty to play the class the way you want to because of the class just simply preventing itself from doing so. Don't misunderstand though, that doesn't mean Heavy Gunner is a bad class. Heavy Gunner is a great class, one of the most valuable ones because of their offensive flexibility, whereas the likes of Assassin can only really do single target damage and not much else. If you can develop a perfect instinct of repositioning, you can easily reach top tier status as a heavy gunner, but they're very niche when it comes to playstyle. I'm certain there are a lot of players who have been turned off by the fact that heavy gunners have rather clunky movements, but look beyond that and you'll see a really fun class with a lot of tools at their disposal. In regards to the strength early mid to late game, I would say consistent at all stages, which makes them very beginner friendly since you have good damage all across the board. What I do wish heavy gunners could have is a blowback skill of sorts, kind of like how Assassin Shadow Web makes them jump back a little or Thief's backstep. I think it's appropriate for heavy gunners to have one since, thematically speaking, their cannons gotta have quite a bit of recoil. I know what you're gonna say, they have a blowback attribute in Rocket Launcher, but that thing is like a 10 second cooldown, it isn't spammable. As for rating, 8 out of 10. A bit rough around the edges, but a great class. They can dish out a ton of damage to a singular target or multiple alike a colorful kit to mess around with, and surprisingly high value in parties. Most invested heavy gunners I know don't really have any regrets picking up the class. Besides maybe Robert. Alright, so that's it for the heavy gunner review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have any discussions regarding the class, please share them in the comment section below. I think I'm going to do the Soulbinder one next since it's about to release soon, so stay tuned for that. During the winter break though, I will finish all the other classes so we can have all 10 of them up on the channel. And then maybe when they get their ability enhancements, we'll figure out what to do then. But uh, thanks again so much for watching. And if you want to see more class review videos, there is a playlist on the screen right about now. Like there should be an end card popping up or in the description below that takes you to all the videos I have so far. If you have any class requests that I have not made yet, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, I will see you guys again soon. Take care.